Welcome to War Gear Reviews and today I've got another interesting camera shootout for you guys but you already know because you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title it is the OnePlus 7 Pro stock camera versus the OnePlus 7 Pro with the Gcam mod and I'll link the mod that I'm using down below this video and I might even do a video explaining how you actually set it up but anyway today we're going to compare the night shots first and then we're going to compare the day shots tomorrow I'll take a few photos out in the park or something like that so I want to know from you guys throughout the video which one is winning and there'll be polls up in the top corner so you can vote so are you ready let's go okay so first off I just want to say the reason why I decided to make this video is because a lot of people have been saying that the Gcam mod significantly improves the camera on the OnePlus 7 Pro and I'm not sure I agree with that and that's why I wanted to do this video for you guys and hopefully you guys will get a good idea as well and let me know in the comments below what you think is the Gcam better or is the OnePlus 7 Pro with the latest updates better anyway picture one I think you'll agree it's pretty close and there's a few differences I can see here first one being the brightness on the grass on the Gcam photo and the darker shadows on the OnePlus 7 Pro stock photo with the OnePlus 7 Pro stock camera it's losing a little bit of detail there in the shadows but not so much that it's ruining the picture and if you want to see what I mean take a look at the right side of the picture on the Gcam photo just under the tree you can actually see all of the fencing there and even the football goal posts behind the fence but overall which picture do you like better use the poll up in the top right corner and once you do that you'll be able to see what everybody else is saying about this photo picture two okay this is the classic shot up into the night sky i use the same photo in a lot of my night shot comparisons and again what we see is much brighter greens on the grass on the gcam photo although there is a slightly orange hue right across the picture when you look at the concrete in the foreground on the oneplus 7 pro stock photo i believe it's a more accurate representation of the actual colors also i do like the deeper blues in the sky on the stock camera photo however when you look at the light gradient coming from behind the tree it reaches all the way up to the top on the gcam photo at just part of the way on the stock photo both look really awesome to me it's a really hard one to tell let me know in the comments below and let's move on to some 1080p video footage at night picture three so this was a pretty extreme low light setting what's interesting here is how the oneplus 7 stock photo has the more orange hue this time and the gcam has the cooler blue tones so a complete reverse on what we've seen so far when it comes to sharpness the oneplus 7 pro wins and this might be because the gcam used a slightly longer exposure in this image and I think it's affected the blurriness around the dog and just blurriness in general. I'll admit both of these are not the best pictures I've ever taken, but it gives you a good idea of how the two softwares differ. Picture four. So this one is a selfie with a very dark foreground and a bright light behind, and it's quite a challenging condition. So on the OnePlus 7 Pro stock photo, the camera is adjusting to the backlighting which is causing the image to be quite a bit darker in the foreground however there's not much noise in the image whereas the gcam has bumped up the iso an incredible amount which is making me look much more visible in the photo but what you can see is quite a lot of noise in the image as well as a result again some big differences there between the two software picture five okay a no light photo well, there was a little bit of light, a tiny bit, but it was very, very dark to the human eye. And here is where we see the Gcam show its true strength and true colors, quite literally. And the difference here when I looked at the information on the two photos is the stock camera used a one quarter of a second exposure, whereas the Gcam a slightly longer one third of a second. And it's made a world of difference. And you can really see that there, the whites, the colors, even the details on the Gcam look better to me than the OnePlus 7 stock photo using the night settings on both devices. And all of the photos you've seen so far, they've all been using the nightscape and the night sight. So let me know which software do you think is better for night shots 
there's a poll up in the top right corner right now so you can vote and you can see what everybody else is saying. And now let's move on to the day segment of the video and you can see the thumbnail on screen right now. Click that to see how the two different softwares vary in daylight conditions. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you get updated when I do more videos like this. Also, I started a new series recently where I do weekly updates of all the tech leaks in the smartphone industry. There's always new tech in development and it's a good way for you to keep up to date with that. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Don't be late.